When Kabuto was a child, he was found outside a destroyed village with a head injury and no memories. He was brought to an orphanage where a nun named Nono Yakushi treated him. And due to his shyness, said nothing to anyone, not even thanking Nono for her kindness. Thus, one of the other orphans, Urushi, asked if Kabuto had any manners before putting a helmet on his head to protect his head wound. Urushi said, his lack of a name was annoying, and Nono, taking inspiration from the helmet, decided to call him Kabuto. That night, Kabuto, feeling guilty because he didn't thank Nono, got out of bed to look for her. However, the other wards caught him and he got in trouble for being up past curfew. They brought Kabuto to a clock to teach him the time of curfew, and at first, it seemed like he was too young to know how to tell time. However, Nono saw he was squinting and gave the boy her glasses, letting him figure out the curfew time. Since the orphanage couldn't afford to get glasses for Kabuto, Nono allowed him to keep hers. The boy started crying in gratitude, thanking her over and over as she consoled him. As he grew up, Kabuto learned medical skills from Nono, helping her heal Shinobi and raise money for the orphanage. This led to his first meeting with Orochimaru, who suggested that he become a Shinobi, but Kabuto wasn't interested. But later, the boy overheard Nono talking with Danzo Shimura, who wanted an orphan in exchange for his funding the orphanage. Kabuto took him up on the offer and would be assigned to missions, infiltrating hidden villages. On one of these missions in Iwagakure, Kabuto's cover was blown and he had to retreat, accidentally attacking Nono as he did so. She was unable to recognize him even as he was healing her injuries and Kabuto started to reflect on and question his purpose in life. Kabuto was again approached by Orochimaru, who told him that his fight with Nono had been orchestrated by Danzo, as Kabuto has become to mush of a liability due to his skills. Furthermore, having been show photos of what she was made to think was Kabuto, Nono was tricked into killing him on the promise that Root would release him from his position. Orochimaru went on reveal his position to kill the survivor and enraged Kabuto by pointing out that Root's missions have made him devoid of an identity to truly call his own. However, admitting he sees a bit of himself in the, the youth, Orochimaru offered him a new identity and a position as his right-hand man in the hidden sound village. Orochimaru did indeed give Kabuto his new identity, that he'd been found at the Battle of Kikyo Pass, and he'd been raised by a captain in the Konoha Medic Corps. Kabuto was later sent to spy on Sasori for Orochimaru, however the Akatsuki member used a technique to make him his own sleeper agent. But Orochimaru was able to break Sasori's control over Kabuto, who would continue to pretend to be the Akatsuki member's servant so as to find out about the Akatsuki's plans. During Kabuto's time in Konoha, he attained the rank of Genin and took part in the Chunin exams so as to gain information on the other participants for Orochimaru. Also, Kabuto helped Orochimaru with his human experiments, gaining more knowledge on the human body over the next few years, Konoha invasion. Before the Chunin exams, Kabuto befriended the Rookie Nine by giving them information on the other competitors. In the second phase, Kabuto teamed up with Team 7 so he could get through it with as little effort as possible. They eventually faced off against Team Oboro, and Kabuto saved Naruto from an attack which caused his glasses to get knocked off. He briefly lost his composure and his killing intent appeared, paralyzing Team Oboro as well as Sasuke and Sakura. However, Kabuto allowed Naruto to defeat Team Oboro, and afterwards he met back up with his team, Yoroi Akado and Misumi Tsurugi, before giving his report on Sasuke to Orochimaru. After his master went to observe Sasuke himself, Kabuto forfeited from the Chunin exams. He made the excuse to Naruto that he was tired, weakened and afraid to risk his life anymore, but in reality he feared that he might show his real abilities and expose himself. Eventually Orochimaru had learned all he wanted about Sasuke and commanded Kabuto to capture him. He was able to defeat the eight Anbu guarding Sasuke, but was forced to retreat by Kakashi Hatake. After this, Kabuto talked with Baki about the imminent Sunagakure, an Otogakure invasion of Konoha. However, they realized that Hayate Gekko was eavesdropping and Kabuto offered to deal with him, but Baki did it instead. During the finals of the Chunin exam, Kabuto killed an Anbu member and disguised himself with his garb hiding in the audience. After Sasuke wounded Gara, Kabuto used a technique to make the audience fall asleep to start off the invasion of Konoha. 
He sent an Otogakure ninja after Naruto while he pursued Sasuke, thinking that he could be a problem if he wasn't dealt with quickly. However, Kabuto seemed to expect the Otto ninja to fail, since he only wanted to test Naruto's abilities. After the invasion was stopped, Kabuto retreated from the village. Search for Tsunade. Due to Orochimaru being badly wounded from the invasion, he and Kabuto searched for Tsunade, hoping she could heal him. They managed to find her and apparently convinced her to help them, but as she was healing Orochimaru, Kabuto realized her healing techniques had killing intent in them and stopped her. After Tsunade revealed her intent, Kabuto resolved to beat her into complying. Though outmatched even after a military rations pill to strengthen himself, Kabuto used Tsunade's hemophobia against her before Shizune arrived, easily beating her. When faced by Naruto, surprised that he was working for Orochimaru, Kabuto overwhelmed the youth and insulted his dream as he managed to land a mortal blow on his heart. However, Naruto hit Kabuto with a Rasengan, gravely wounding him and leaving him unable to fully heal as he helped Orochimaru summon Manda before retreating from the fight.